What up fam, and welcome back to our channel. I'm Deb, and before we get into much today, make sure you subscribe, and hit that bell to be notified when we drop goodies like these. Welcome back, it's such a treat. Great play fam, come on, let's eat. Shall we pray? Father God, we thank you for everyone that is joining us today. We pray that you bless the hands that prepare the food as well as the hands that harvested the food. We also thank you for those that are joining us. We pray that regardless of what their mood and temperament is when they join us, we pray that it is uplifted when they leave. We also know that you say the meek shall inherit the earth, but sometimes people take meekness for weakness. So we pray that when those times happen and we might go off the rails, that you don't trip because we know that you're not done with us yet. So, in your son Jesus' name we pray, amen. So, we've been doing a really good job on the video likes. Let's thumbs up the video, get the video to 1K likes, and hit that red button gray. If you haven't, then come back and eat with us today. Before you have loaded taco lasagna. Unfortunately, we didn't do a video for this, so those that usually look forward to the videos that accompany the meals, we didn't do it this time. But we have a lot of stuff, they cooked it. I'm gonna take it out, give you a layer. We finna see what's up. So ready to dig into this, but as you can see, we've got some corn, black olives. The noodle layers have been substituted with corn tortilla. This is so good, y'all. How is your week going? Things around here are starting to simmer back down and get to old days business as usual. For those watching, are you the type of person that likes to vary your Taco Tuesday or do you like the same things? As for me, I like to try different things. Because you have your favorite and your go-tos for a reason. But that don't mean you gotta eat them all the time. Especially for us because we have about four Taco Tuesdays a month. So 
so while the tacos are good, the little nacho be busting. It's a lot more ways to have taco relatedness. Wow, nacho and tacos might be our growing up favorite because that's what we were pretty much exposed to. We like try noodles. Like this here. I know I'm gonna be able to eat at least half of it. This is why it's always great having a partner that compliments me and not in a sense of, hey, you look good today. I mean, actually it's like yin and yang because like I'm cleaning, they cooking. If I'm cooking, they will be doing school. If I'm doing school, they will be doing something else. So us working like that, we make it to where there's not too much of a burden and a load on one person because this is our relationship. Today, this is going to be something different, but we actually came with this on the fly because what we actually wanted, in my opinion, time had escaped and got away from us, and what we originally wanted, it wasn't going to be feasible. So it just made more sense for us to split up. So Bay, Aiden Fritz at the tail end, Alexander and Andrew. We're pretty much in and out of a video with Bay eating. So while I initially thought to eat this to have another to have one of the kids in the video with me they ate winter ice cream with bae now granted they've already eaten but our kids when we sit down they love to be in our presence and as we do them because they're amazing little human beings So that's one of my prayers that I usually pray daily that the bond that we have as they grow only strengthens and we both are receptive of each other. Like as a father, I never want to be too overbearing. I never want to do go too over the top as far as getting them in line or if they're doing something that I feel should be done differently. There is tact for a reason. So that's what I always want to be consistent with. Because honestly, firm hands can only go so far 
knowing your children does way better. Your children knowing you, knowing who you are and what you stand for. It really helps with the communication. And it also helps not lie to your kids either. Because we have children varying in ages. But mistakes, things that I could have done differently, but chose to do one way, why I chose to do it that way, the outcomes, I'm never gonna she gonna uh hoard those kind of things for my children. Because them also seeing and hearing that dad has made mistakes. will help hit home with them that they're not expected to be perfect. They're expected to do their best. They're expected to be the best human beings they can be as far as how they handle and treat other people. I don't ever want my kids to be those kids that rag on other people and treat other people detrimentally because I've seen that. <laughs> These kids too funny. Because we're not big on the corporal punishment thing. Now, of course, some situations do dictate them getting a weapon. But for the most part, it goes to the corner. Because our kids, they love to be active and up and moving. So going to the corner it does more than a whooping would for them because our kids are also, our kids are also they're boys the girls are older they're I was about to say stocky but not necessarily stocky but they have a, a night they have a I do not recall where I was but I just want my children to strive to be their best version of themselves. And I always pray that I keep my ears open within reason to what they're saying they want. Because I firmly believe that with children, as they grow older, the support that you pour into them also helps build with their work ethic. Because someone believing in something that you have going on, it makes you go harder. At least in my experiences, everybody's different. I'm going to talk a little more today because the food is forgiving as to what it is, not having to worry about it getting cold, getting soggy.
the sub of it. I started to put some people on the top. But Bay had already put the Rotel tomatoes on the inside. say it is definitely layered spectacularly What are your plans for New Year's? Just like we did something different and new for Christmas, we're gonna try to do something different and new for New Year's too. Well, New Year's Eve, going into New Year's, same difference really. I want to try taco fries. I want to try loaded taco nachos. Oh, they sound similar. You will be surprised with the difference between the two. After I finish this strip here, I'm going to be done. I'm getting kind of full. But as always, it was fun while it lasted though. Do you like green onions? Fresh cut green onions. 
one of the best flavor enhancers to add to anything taco related. eat my little bit of remains before I start to drink. Well, sadly, we have come to a point in the video where we must let you guys go. So, until next video, fam, love you guys. Stay safe, stay blessed, be that light for someone else to emulate because you never know what your kind of words and gestures could do for the next person day. It's too good. I had to stop myself, y'all. Because right now, with, <clears throat> excuse me, like I already told you guys, I was getting full. So now, eating will be eating because it's good, not because I'm hungry anymore. So, I think I'm going to go ahead and bounce out and let my stomach settle down a bit, give us my screen. Or, it's on sweet period.